Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to set up Audacity from scratch. So I'm also going to show you how to record audio and how to edit audio. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now my previous video I actually show you how to download and install Audacity. So in case you haven't done that yet, you can check out that video because there are actually some changes. It's a bit different as it used to be in the past on how to actually download Audacity. So if you want to make sure, so if you want to check out that video, it's up here in the right corner. And in case we're just going to jump right in here and we're going to start with the audio settings actually within so we're going to go to audio setup here and click on audio settings now here make sure the host here is on mme uh, the speakers i like to be my speakers because i like to hear what i'm doing and so here as microphone i'm actually going to select the blue yeti which is the microphone that i'm actually using right now then channel i'm just going to do a mono actually because i'm only going to record my voice and if you actually record vocals or just your voice in general your microphone should be a mono it's, it's the most advised in this case otherwise in other cases you will do stereo in this case we only have one channel it's going to be for the microphone so you can go with mono now here the project sample rate now there's a chance that yours is actually at 44,100 which is also good but i do definitely prefer 48,000 now there's not a huge world of difference here but these two are definitely advised so this is just a little bit less and this is a, for example when actually creating music most projects will be at 48,000 hertz now if you're only going to record your voice that's why also 44,100 is going to be just fine it's really one of the two but this one is just a little more it's really up to you and then here we got also the sample format here so i advise you to be at that 32-bit float same it's for the quality so if you want the quality to be higher you can put it at 32 bit float also depends on how long the recording is going to be you can also might put it at 24 or something like that i'm always confident i can go with uh, 32 bit float here now here we have latency now latency you won't necessarily need latency basically is when you speak a couple of words or when you for example have a guitar and you strum a couple of chords and the sound comes back like a couple of milliseconds to a second later so between the time you speak those words or you strum the guitar and between the times that you actually heard in the playback so in your speakers it takes a while that basically is latency so if you're struggling with that just put the buffer length as low as possible but that's just a little thing to mention here that can be quite important in case you're struggling with latency you can change that right here but we're good right now so just going to click okay as you can see down here you can actually change the tempo or bpm also the time signature if you want and here you can see the time that has passed basically the timer now here we actually have the recording levels as you can see so this is the one for the microphone and this is the one for the speakers so the playback and what you can basically do is bring this down if you want to be at a certain these numbers are in decibel so we have like minus six minus three and then we have zero decibel right here which is quite loud and above zero decibel it generally like one two or three decibel it generally starts to clip and so clipping means that the sound is too loud the waveforms are basically going to be square and you cannot work with that so you can always keep it at this or you can bring it down a little bit kind of just want to decide what level you want it to be at now if you actually go up here to edit preferences as you can see, we have the same settings coming back as we saw here in the audio settings. And basically, here we're going to go to interface. And so here are just going to be some appearance, preferences, nothing too crazy. Language in English, of course. Now, you can also do it in dark theme here. If, for example, you find that, that you find, for example, it's way too bright, the light mode of Audacity, you can put it to dark mode. And basically do what you want a bit here. And you have some extra options as well. And of course, here, if you need anything related to these, right here, you can also click on it. I just wanted to click show you in case you wanted to change something about the appearance quickly. But now, of course, the most important part, you're going to add an audio track. For that, you can go to Tracks, Add New. And once again, of course, as I said, because it's a microphone, a mono track. You can also, by the way, alternatively right click here and do Add Mono Track or Stereo Track. It's a bit faster, but if you wanted to really find it, it's actually over here as well. Don't worry, afterwards, I'll import actually some music and I'll show you that it's going to be a stereo track. But I'll show you that in a moment. And so I'm actually going to record a sample right now, so a short audio sample. And I'm actually going to leave some silence in the beginning as well. I'll explain you later why I do that. It's actually very important. And then I'll go over some other settings. Hey guys, today I'm showing you a tutorial on Audacity. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have a little bit of silence at the beginning here. We have some, some part at the end. Now, as you might have also saw, I just clicked on this button right here, which is the record button, obviously. What I can also do then, if I, for example, want to play the audio, is I click here and I can do play. Now, you will actually notice that the volume is going to be quite low. So that's actually something I'm going to boost afterwards as well. Hey guys, today I'm showing you a tutorial. Obviously, and so if I can do pause, I'm showing you a tutorial on Audacity. As you can see, I can also do stop, obviously, which stops the audio. I can go backwards, so that always brings it backwards all the way right here. And I can also do forward, it takes it to the end of the actual audio track. I can also zoom, so I can do it by doing control and the scroll, as you can see. But also, you can, of course, do the magnifying glass right here. If you zoom in or zoom out. Now, if I take an example here, I don't want the end here, because I think that this part of the audio is useless. I see this little icon here means I can drag it here and basically do a trim end and take it until the part I don't speak anymore, which is around here. So let's listen to this end part. Tutorial on Audacity. And just cuts off basically at a part where I stop talking. Now, for example, I don't want this part, which is a pretty specific part. I can just select this area and basically do delete. So I can do the backspace key on my keyboard 
And as you can see, it just removed that fragment of the audio. And so that's actually if you want to delete a certain part, specific part of an audio track, which is once again, the delete button on your keyboard, which is the most easiest way to do it. Now, if you feel like you made a mistake, you can also do this right here, which is going to be an undo, also known as Control Z, of course, on your keyboard. And then if you think that uh, if you want to go back again, so you want to do a redo and go back forward again. Of course, what you can also do is just double click here to select the whole track. We can do Control C, put it right here and do Control V, which is of course copy paste in case you need to do that. Of course, also if we select on this Control X, which deletes it, but also cuts it. So I can actually paste it again. So I also, of course, have these general options. But now very important part, as I said earlier, it's a bit too quiet. Once again, if you listen here. Hey guys, today we're showing you a... Hey guys, today we're showing you a tutorial. See if I put the levels all the way up here. As you can see, it only goes up to showing you a tutorial. Barely minus 20, you know. So what we can do then is actually make sure you, once again, double click on here. Go to effect, volume and compression. And we're going to do amplify. And this is going to make it louder. So obviously we don't want to make it too loud. And let's say 5 here. Which is going to be a new peak of like minus 14 dB, which is already better. It's going to be a bit too quiet, generally speaking, but it's already better. So let's, uh, you can also do preview here, by the way. Hey guys, today I'm showing you a tutorial on Audacity. You can even do 5.5 or 6 here. I don't want to do it too loud. I'm also, of course, recording with my own voice right now. So I don't want to confuse the two. But I'm just going to do apply here. And as you can see, the waveforms went up as well. It means it got louder, basically. And so if you listen again. Hey guys, today I'm showing you a tutorial on Audacity. As I said, it could be a bit louder, but we're not going to do this for this tutorial. So I'm actually going to cut this right here. Because there's some mouth sounds. I don't like that. So I'm just going to delete that part. And also, most importantly, here at the beginning. As you can see here better now, it's noise, it's background noise to be specific. And basically that is obviously something we want to remove there, as you can see. So what we can do then is actually select the area. So only, doesn't have to be very precise, but only beginning part here. So we just have to give like a sample basically. There we go. So by clicking this, we go to effect afterwards. We go to noise removal and repair and we go to noise reduction. For the first thing we have to do here is the first step. We have to do get noise profile. So basically get this information right here. Then we're actually going to select the entire track. Once again, you can double click to do that. Back to effect. Back to noise removal and repair. Noise reduction. And this time we can fill in a number here for the dB noise reduction. And we're going to do like 12. So it's going to actually reduce the background noise by 12 dB. We actually do preview as well. Hey guys, today we're showing you... So as you saw, you didn't hear anything pretty much at the beginning. So that's a very good sign. Now make sure it doesn't have to be 12. Just play around. For you, it might be more or less. As I said, you can also use the preview before clicking OK. But in case, there you go. So I'm actually going to re-listen to this, especially the first part. Hey guys, today we're showing you a tutorial on Audacity. As you can see, it's actually very nice because, well, we pretty much didn't hear anything here at the beginning. It's very nice. It's a very nice reduction of voice. So if you talk right here, you don't hear the noise in the background throughout speaking voice, basically. So that's very nice. Very important step. And then I advise you to use in a lot of cases. And also thus why we have that moment of silence at the beginning. So we can get that noise profile. Okay, so it's looking good. And actually what I want to do now, as I said earlier, we can actually add a second track, which is going to be a stereo track. So I'm going to add a just a background song. So there are multiple ways to do that. You can actually go ahead and drag something like an audio file can just drag it on here or you can go to file import and we can do audio now this is my previous projects but basically what you can do basically go for music for example i'm going to add a background song here just something non-copyrighted which of course i also advise you to do if you're going to make a huge video make sure it's non-copyrighted music so that you don't get in trouble with copyright in case you're going to use this vocal in case you're going to use this recording for anything youtube related so let's see here okay so let's see let's do this track and as you can see it even created the track apart here so we don't even need this one now basically, just from looking at the waveforms here of the audio, we know this is going to be pretty loud, especially compared to my voice. So what we can do then to actually get this down is we can just go ahead up here to the envelope tool and just drag this here, as you can see, like this. I'm going to make it quieter. You can also do certain parts higher and or louder than the other parts, as you can see right here. Or even turn it completely off. But we obviously just want to do the entire track here. Way to do it, what you can also just do is go ahead and double click this and we go back to volume and compression and amplify here. So actually going to put this a lot quieter, like a minus 30 dB, because this is going to be background music. So we don't actually want to really hear it that much. Apply, as you can see, it gets very quiet. The waveforms get very compressed because that's, of course, also because we're, well, it's going to be very quiet. So if you listen to the audio alone here, so we can do, for example, solo. If I click on solo here, it's only going to play this track right here. And as you can see, the other tracks will be grayed out. So now we're going to only hear the music. Back to the beginning here and click play. Which we want in the case of like background audio. As you see, I'm talking right now. It's playing in the background. Might sometimes even still be a bit too loud, but that depends. Obviously, you have to adapt it to uh, in what your case is. So if you kind of move this right here. By the way, if you take it up here, you can see it's going to be a little hand. Which is basically going to help you move. And normally, I wouldn't really do it like this. But let's just place it somewhere that it fits quite well. And let's actually just remove solo here. So just re-click it to make it both. Let's see here. So I'm going to make the audio here. As you can see. Hey guys, today we're showing you a tutorial on Audacity. 
Now, as I said, of course, there are no effects on my voice, so it doesn't sound that good, but at least the voice is louder than the background sound in this case, which we ultimately wanted, of course. Now, I do actually have a video on how to make your voice better in Audacity, which is also up here in the right corner if you want to check that out. Could be very useful. I'll actually show you how to add effects and thus also make your voice sound better instead of just keeping like this raw sound of a microphone. Now, of course, at the end, it's very important we actually save the project. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So first of all, we'll go to File, Save Project, and we're going to do Save Project As because I haven't saved it yet. Now, in this case, for the sake of making it easier, I'm just going to cut this audio free because it's basically a Destiny folder here. By the way, if you also want to search here, you go right here or you go in the libraries or in your PC and actually you want to check where you want to save it. And also, if you save this, this is always going to be a .aup free file. So that's the project file, not to be confused with what we're going to export next. This is a project file, which is going to be a AUP free, as I said. So just like this, I'm going to save it. And there we go. So you can also just go to open again. And you just open the project again, which is this one right here. And it will just open the whole project, as you can see with these audio tracks once again. Now a second, which is also very important, is going to go back to file. And we're going to do export audio here. Now here you have two options. You can share to audio.com. Basically, it's like a cloud, pretty much. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to export to computer. This gives you a couple of settings here. Now, I personally prefer WAVE. As you can see, I have a couple of options here. But basically, WAVE is a better quality. It's also better quality than MP3. So if you really want to use this, especially professionally, what you're, whatever you're going to record, make sure it's WAVE. No matter if that's music or recording your voice, Wave is highly recommended. Here, of course, browse the path if you want to. You want to see where it goes, where you actually want to save it once again. But this case, of course, the actual audio file, not the project file. Here we saw stereo, as I said earlier here. 48,000 hertz, what I prefer. This, same, you can bring it up. You have a couple of options here. You can actually put this at like 32, 64, but it gets pretty high at times. So you can go back to like just 32 bit float. Let's just do right here. Of course, you want to do the entire project. Also make sure that is selected. Instead of doing like a part or something of the clip, no, you want the entire project pretty sure so that's what you want to select in this case and then we do export and so of course now it's pretty quick but if you have a bigger file it might take a lot more time and it will be saved to whatever we just browsed and of course once again you can just open the project again or import the audio as well anyways guys I really tried to cover the basics here in audacity everything from recording and editing audio in the most basic way so that you have at least the tools to really get started here with audacity so of course i hope this tutorial helped you leave any questions down below please leave a like would be really nice subscribe to us really nice hope to see you guys in my next video Bye.